Hello everybody and welcome back to Power Sessions with Natasha. I hope you're all having a good day. Yes, and we are back with another video. What are we talking about today? We are talking about astrology. This beautiful, magnificent thing called astrology. Where did it come from? Where did it originate from? Because today, when most of us look up in the multitude of stars, if you have stars where you live on a clear night, a few of us, very few of us can actually identify some of the stars, isn't it? But most of us just simply stare in awe just at the beauty. And because of that, many of us have never stopped to consider that there was a people who named the stars and constellations. There was a people who calculated their distance from the earth and each other and also managed to include us humans as a chart of the heavens all these stars come complete with names and the course of their annual and regular trek across our skies. Isn't that beautiful? So where did this all come from? It came from Africa, of course. The Ethiopians, yes, African people were the first people who invented the science of the stars and gave names to the planets. And they didn't do this at random and without meaning. But what they did is they studied. They studied the characters and qualities. And this is what led to them naming these, these stars and constellations. These arts were then passed on to the Egyptians. Ethiopians were the first tribes of Egypt. And when you went to Egypt, you could see that there was a very well organized, very well thought out system that existed. The people of the Nile loved agriculture. They loved geometry. Why? Because they measured their lands annually for farming. They also loved astronomy. Why? Because they used astronomy to use it to monitor their skies for their farming. All these are physical and moral sciences necessary to civilize life today. These are still used today. Yes, Ethiopians organized the very complicated system of the worship of stars that people are obsessed with today. So why did they create this system? You know, it was created to improve the production of the earth and labors of, agri of agriculture. So 17,000 years ago, the Ethiopians of Thebes named all the stars we know today. Let's get into it. So the first star is the star of inundation, which is the star of flooding, which today we call Aquarius. I'm supposedly an Aquarius. Under this star or season, the Nile would overflow. The Nile goes through, even today, an annual inundation, an annual flooding. Please look it up. The next star they name is the stars of ox and bull. Today we call it Taurus which was the season when they began to plow their fields. The next star that they named is the stars of the lion. Today we call this Leo. This was when animals were driven from the desert by thirst and appeared on the banks of the Nile to drink the water. The next star that they named is the stars of sheaf or the harvest virgin and this was the reaping season this was when the farmers would go and reap everything that they sowed the next star that they named was the stars of the lamb today we call it aries this star or under this star would be when these precious animals these lambs were born into the world the next star that they named was the star of the crab today we call it cancer this was where the sun would arrive at the tropic. The tropic has everything to do with latitude. You know, so the sun would retreat by a slow retrograde motion like the crab. How amazing is that? The next star that they named was the stars of the wild goat. Today, we call it Capricorn. This is when the sun would reach its highest point at a certain part of the land and this happened yearly every year this would happen and this to them was an imitation of the goat who loves to climb the summit of the rocks fantastic the next star that they named was the stars of balance today we call it libra 
which is when the days and nights were equal and they seemed in equilibrium together. The next star that they named was the stars of Scorpion. These were, were periodical winds, winds that came at a certain time, at a, a certain, obviously under the, the star of this, the scorpion, they would come and they brought dense clouds of smoke that burnt like the venom of the scorpion. Wow, I, I just love the description of that star, like wow, you know. And to show their further knowledge of the stars, the Ethiopians also observed that the return of the flooding always corresponded with the rising of the beautiful star which appeared towards the source of the Nile you know this would warn the farmers against the coming waters the coming floods and they called this star Sirius we will get into that star later on I find it very fascinating you know so our ancestors not Europeans who called themselves the, the, father of, of, the fathers of astrology out of always wanting to take what came out of Africa and wishing they had the intelligence to do the same as we did. What amazes me is even modern day today, you have NASA that spends billions and billions of dollars every year trying to find life on other planets when they haven't even learned to live in harmony on Earth now with others but spending billions attempting to find more life, more life to cause chaos to seems very paramount. It honestly baffles me. Astrology itself as a system is a monumental testimony of scientific achievements of the ancient Ethiopians. Our ancestors began everything that even till today, people are obsessed with and they live their lives according to this, which is, astrology this is part one of astrology that came out of africa we will be doing another part and i hope you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and guys hit the notification bell because if you don't you're gonna miss my videos and you don't want to do that so thank you so much for watching and bye